Good audience, back again, a couple of days of way, lots of travel. Thought I'd share a couple of tips on jet lag, uh, something that I absolutely hate and never seems to get uh, awfully better with time. But I have find, found some uh, ways to minimise jet lag and, and issues in the air. We'll start with uh, time in the air. Good tip is ginger. Now you can actually get, uh, I think it's called Travel Mate tablets, it actually helps you with uh, air sickness. Of course, if you minimise your chances of air sickness, uh, your chances of feeling better on the ground are much improved. If you don't have uh, any travel mate, if you find Qantas in particular, they normally have Bundaberg ginger beer, which is a great source of ginger, and I always have well, at least two cans of uh, a ginger beer on a plane, quite often with rum mixed in, but uh, it still uh, you know, hits the spot. In terms of actual uh, when you get off, a couple of other things to, uh, to have. Your big thick socks. Um, your travel socks are preferable, but if you haven't got any travel socks, something which is really, really tight on you, if you've got a struggle to put them on, they'll, they'll work. that helps with the circulation. Uh, it helps from stopping your legs falling out, particularly with the Trans-Pacific flights. My, uh, my legs do tend to swell up quite badly, and I found the socks tend to minimise that. It doesn't always completely get rid of it, but it does uh, cut down the swelling in the legs. Be careful, obviously, if you're grog. You don't want to get too drunk, uh, particularly you know if you, you smoke or something like that, it can actually make you quite tense. Uh, caffeine, try to keep the caffeine down to a minimum. I've uh, tried uh, sleeping tablets before. Uh, I've always felt groggy afterwards. So, uh, little trick I always find, I think I put, mentioned this in another video as well. Um, Baraja is the saving grace of it. It's available, I've since found out, uh, in every but the US. It's a, it's a vitamin B uh, effervescent drink. You put it in a glass, it, uh, you, you drink it. Uh, a source of B or B12 or something like that, some sort of B-based multivitamin would serve the right, right purpose. But I always find after I've had a sleep, I wake up, I have a, I have a Barocca, and by the time I get off the plane, it's right as right, particularly in, in going. Um, other tips for sleeping and, and overcoming jet lag, take buy one of those neck pillows. I always thought they were a bit daft. I bought one last time I went away, and I found I actually had the best sleep I've ever had on a plane. Um, always make sure you've got a mask for your face. Uh, Qantas, I know, uh, offers them, I presume most airlines do. Um, that's a pretty bad picture. Uh, just watch yourself, have some food, try to eat normally. Um, obviously try to get some sleep if you can. I mean, one of the problems I always used to have is I couldn't sleep on a plane, uh, which meant I was so bloody exhausted at the end. I, you know, did you found out that. Also, uh, probably last tip is to try to get a, a seat where you, you can actually put your seat right back without it being kicked. Or more importantly, where the person in front of you is on top of you. There's a couple of tips here, or where someone is, is next to you. So that's me on uh, jet lag. And remember, if you have any uh, questions for Duncan Riley TV, send me an email.